Come here now, girl. What's up guys, Rizal here and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a face cam border for your videos. So before I start, let's see if you can get this video to 20 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new and want to see more content like this. So this video was suggested to me by one of my subscribers and it would be great if you could also leave me some suggestions on what videos do you guys want me to make. So yeah, with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is click on File, click on New. And then make sure that your width is 1280, height is 720, resolution 72, background contents transparent and then just click OK. So once you have this, all you want to do is click on the rectangle tool, put one click on the canvas right here and then change the width again to 1280 and height to 720. Like that. So you'll have this white box rectangle and then just adjust it so that it becomes right here and now just press ctrl D and then just resize it please be sure to hold shift because that will keep it in proportional so resize it until it is like the face cam size so something like that that much will be the face cam size so yeah that looks pretty good right now and yeah so if you want if your fill is coming something else you could just click on this rectangle tool right here and change the fill by clicking here and any color you, you like so we are we are going to be the going with the white one so now right click on the layer click on blending options and then we, we are going to be adding a stroke so click on stroke and then you could just make this a little bit more so something like that so if you, we want, it's if you see it's getting a little curved around the edges if you like it like that you can just keep it but i usually like it like um rectangular so I'll just make the position to inside so as you can see now that it's totally rectangular and looks pretty good so i'll just make it a little bit more so the border something like that yep that looks good so yeah that we have now a good face cam border background so now we're going to be adding some design so hold up hold on your pen tool just put one dot right here and then hold one more right here and then hold a shift holding shift just make it like that and then like that click there and then join these together so now you'll have this amazing type of thing and then right click on this click on fill path choose color right here and then make it to black so now click on ok so now you'll have this kind of thing and it looks pretty cool for a face cam border. So now you could just delete the path, right click on it and delete the path. So as you can see it looks pretty good right now. It's pretty merged in and stuff like that. So now we can just expand it or make it bigger if you want. Hold, be sure to hold shift again because it might get in not proportional if you don't do that. So yeah this face cam border looks pretty good right now and we'll just add some more design to it. So. We'll just duplicate this layer right now, press Ctrl J on your keyboard or you can just right click and press duplicate layer right here. So this is Ctrl J right here and then I'm just going to be dragging this right here. So yeah this looks pretty cool right now and then I'll just change the color overlay. I'll just give it a color overlay of white. You could just do it any color you like but I'll just go with white and then I can just add a stroke. So this looks pretty good right now I think and then just adjust it so that it looks good like that yeah something like that well this looks pretty in so you could just adjust it however you want so yeah this looks pretty good right now so now you can add your own logo so I'm just gonna be adding my own logo right now so click on file place and then I'll just add my logo <coughs> So here I have my logo right here and just gonna position it so that it becomes right over here. Okay, so now just move the layer up so that it gets the logo comes in. And then resize it again a little bit. Tilt it a little bit, it looks good. And then something like that. So as you can see that the top part of the logo is getting blended in with the thing. So now I'm just gonna be adding a stroke to it so that it looks pretty good now. So adding a stroke to it. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good now. So yeah guys, that was all about it for this video guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video because I think this face cam model looks pretty good and if I'm ever about to do any face cam tutorials, 
I'm surely got face cam commentary so anything using my face over here I'll just, I'm surely gonna be using this face webcam over this so yeah thanks a lot for watching guys hopefully you guys enjoy this and if it hopefully this video did help you out also so yeah be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if it this if it did help you out and also be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new around here so yeah thanks a lot for watching once again my name is Ryzel and I'll see you guys in my next video